Hi, your host is the Enthusiast, and today we will take a deep dive to the bad, the good, and the horrible things about Windows 11. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and while you are down there, like this video and comment down below if you will be upgrading to Windows 11 when it comes out. And with that being said, let's get started. Microsoft has released the first Windows 11 Insider Preview build almost a week after announcing the new version of its operating system. On the same day, however, they also published a separate blog where they are trying to explain the minimum system requirements for Windows 11 and a doubt about them. Ironically, Microsoft clarification is only going to increase the confusion among the users and raise even more questions for those who are still trying to figure out what generation of CPUs will support the new generation of operating system. The new blog post also clarifies that Intel 6th generation Skylake and earlier CPUs and non-Zen AMD processors will not meet support for Windows 11 because apparently these CPUs do not support principles around security and reliability and minimum system requirements for Windows 11. This aligns with Microsoft's statement where they mentioned that Windows 11 would require Intel 8th generation Coffee Lake or Zen 2 CPUs. However, Microsoft still didn't clarify the reason for cutting off the 7th generation Intel chips and Ryzen 1st generation processors, which can deliver the required system security. The second questionable item on the list of the requirements was the Trusted Platform Module, or TPM 2.0. Let me explain this. It's a hardware chip that is integrated into CPUs and motherboards, and it's believed to provide extra security against ransomware and protects drives on a system. Microsoft's decision to take these two system requirements mandatory for Windows 11 had not gone down well with users. The requirements even made some recently purchased laptops and computers unsupported for Windows 11 update. The one thing is clear, that Microsoft's messaging around the Windows 11 availability has been a total mess, to the point that even the PC Health Check app had failed to provide proper explanation to users when a machine was ineligible for the Windows 11 upgrade. Once updated, it only made customers realize that some of their recently purchased PCs will not get Windows 11 update. It was also accused of incorrectly flagging hardware as incompatible with the operating system. On the other hand, however, Microsoft decided to take down the PC Health Check app and stated that based on the feedback so far, the app was not fully prepared to share level of detail or accuracy to tell why a Windows 10 PC doesn't meet upgrade requirements. The PC Health Check app should also make a comeback before Windows 11 is officially rolled out later this year. The remarkable thing about Windows is that its hardware requirements have barely changed over the past 14 years. From Windows Vista through Windows 10, Microsoft has demanded a 1GHz processor and 1GB of RAM. Running Windows on a PC with those minimum specs, however, wouldn't always yield as the greatest experience, but Microsoft wouldn't stop you from trying. For now, Windows 11 demands a greater amount of storage and RAM, 64GB and 4GB respectively, but the real sticking point has to do with the processors and security features such as the Trusted Platform Module 2.0 support. Until now, the software upgradability of Windows PCs has been a welcome exception in an era when technology seems designed for this possibility. For example, with new Macs, software support tends to last between 5 to 8 years. The 2012 launch of OS X 10.8, Mountain Lion for instance, cut off all pre-2007 Macs, while the first version of OS X in 2001 required a Power Mac G3 from at least 1997. Having an up-to-date device isn't just about getting new features. It's also important for receiving critical security fixes and support from third-party apps. 
Windows has traditionally allowed users to enjoy those benefits for a decade or more. And even if those users decided to buy a new hardware, they could still sell, donate, or hand down their older machines, knowing they would continue to be supported. After six years during which Windows 10 remained largely unchanged, the world's most popular desktop operating system is getting a major overhaul with the unveiling of the Windows 11. That's despite Microsoft proclaiming Windows 10 as the last version of Windows. Much of the work is interface redesign rather than actual features. Windows 11 is more familiar than you may expect, despite some rearranging and updating the furniture. It borrows from Chrome OS though the desktop still offers app icons, which Google's lightweight desktop does not. Windowing and multitasking are still far more advanced in Windows too. The interface gets macOS rounded corners for all Windows, which is not really a significant change, but does give the operating system a softer look. Much of the new design brings a welcome new slickness and consistency to the Windows interface. Windows 10 has been also ready for a while and Microsoft hasn't told you. Windows 10 Insider previews have continued to ship, but the Redmond firm is stripping out the Windows 11 shell. There are a few parts that won't be ready in the time for Windows Insider testing, such as the new Microsoft Store, Android apps on Windows and Teams integration. The preview is available in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. It's scheduled to arrive in the beta channel later this month and that's also when OEMs are going to start to get it for installing on new laptops and desktops. This holiday season, Windows 11 will be available to everyone as a free update. Windows 11 doesn't have a specific release date until we get it pretty close to it. The rumors of the project late were true. You are going to be able to run Android apps in Windows 11. You'll able to get them through the Microsoft Store too, but notably, Microsoft has partnered up with Amazon to bring the Amazon App Store to the Microsoft Store. That means that yes, there will finally be a touch-friendly Kindle app coming to Windows. The company mentioned that Amazon was the company that it's partnered with, but the App Store isn't the only place you'll be able to get app Android apps from. In fact, Microsoft said it wants to be able to run all Android apps one day, including those that require Google services. Note that this is just a goal to support all Android apps, not a commitment. So if you have Windows 11 Insider account, feel free to try Windows 11 Insider preview build of Windows 11, which is in the time of the recording this, latest version is 22065. And with that said, thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content and if you did, subscribe to the channel is much appreciated. And while you are down there, like this video and I see you all in the next one. Peace.